Us runners are pretty hardy types. We'll get up at 5 a.m. to squeeze in a long run before work. We will brave all of the elements so that we don't miss a running day. And we'll run distances that other people, non-runners, can only imagine driving. 12 miles? I could run that. But we have to admit, us runners can be a tad sensitive, especially when we hear certain comments. Jog! Here are a few things you should never say to a runner, unless you're prepared to experience this. Why is it that non-runners always share their fears that you might get permanently injured? For the last time, running is not bad for your knees. <laughs> my friend told me if I started running, my nipples would bleed. So really, I just shouldn't bother. But he didn't know about my secret weapon. Aha. And why do some people feel the need to comment on your appearance? I was just out on a walk in sandals, you know, it's summer, and no joke, someone just walked past me, looked down at my feet and said, they're hideous. I'm surprised you even feel comfortable wearing sandals. I mean, I might be a toenail or two down, but really? The worst I've had it is, you run, but you don't look like a runner. But what does a runner even look like? Surely if I'm out on a run, then I'll look like a runner. And then there are the ones that comment on your distance. Either you run too far or not enough. One thing's for certain, whatever you're doing, it's wrong. Why can't non-runners just cheer us on? You ran 16 miles. I get tired driving that far. Oh, you're making me tired just thinking about it. And don't forget the runners who like to question official race distances and jeopardise PBs for the rest of us. And then there are the ones that say that you're almost there when you're two miles in to a marathon. I've got 24.2 miles to go. I am not almost there. It's true, us runners are a special type of breed. We're willing to wake up super early to go for a run and we're probably also happy to run for what some people would consider an unfathomable amount of time. But that is not an invitation for snarky remarks. It really frustrates me when I tell someone I did a three hour long run at the weekend and they roll their eyes at me and tell me I'm just wasting my time. How's a three hour long run wasting my time? On more than one occasion, someone has commented to me, I only run if I'm late for the bus. Can we come up with something a little bit more original, please? And then there's the people who force you to stay in. Don't go out running now, it's too early. It's too late. Dinner's almost ready. Sit down, have a cup of tea instead. I feel like a fugitive sneaking out my own house to go for a run. Also, very annoying when people don't understand the need to run while you're on holiday. No, I'm not just gonna lie around and rest up with my feet up. Running on holiday is my kind of fun. I have some friends that are always trying to pull me away from my running. I'm training for a marathon, you know. In order to run 26.2 miles, you do need to train, and that means prioritizing my runs. Hiya, do you wanna go for brunch this morning? Ah, oh, sorry, Rick. I've got a run date booked in with Anna. Great. Invite her too. You can skip your run today, right? Afraid not. It's on the training plan. But you run yesterday. Aren't you tired? Yeah. So yesterday was a speed session and now I need to do an easy run in order to get some active recovery. But have you seen the weather? You're not going to run in that, are you? Sorry, Rick. It's going to have to be another time. Bye. Why do some people come up with a thousand different excuses to keep you from running? Oh. Although that is better than the running friend that keeps you waiting. <sighs> Looks like it's going to be a cut short recovery run for me. Races are the best. The atmosphere, the feeling when you cross the line, the entertainment when you come around the corner. But sometimes races do draw some unwanted comments. If one more person asked me if I won that race at the weekend, I think I'm going to explode. It's quite hard to win a race, you know? I'm not Elliot Kipchoge. Now, one thing that I really love about ultras 
is that you get to walk sometimes. But you always get that person who goes, yeah, but you didn't run all of it, did you? I saw you walking up that hill. Um, are you telling me that if you ran 100K, you wouldn't walk some of it? Hmm. Then there's the classic run, Forest, run. <laughs> If I'm honest, I find it really annoying, but I do know some people who love it. So I think it's a bit like Marmite. You either love it or you hate it. How do you feel about it? Let us know in the comments down below. Now, when you start running, you might find that your bank balance takes a bit of a hit. I mean, it's true. All you need to run is a good pair of trainers. They don't come cheap. And chances are, you're gonna find yourself wanting some pretty snazzy, bright, colourful, cheerful kit. And that don't come cheap either. It's just not too nice being reminded about it. So the other day I got told off by a friend for buying another pair of running shoes. She said she only had one pair and that was enough. <laughs> That's not enough. I've got these, who are my marathon running shoes. I've got these for kind of easy trail running. I've got these, which are my easy run shoes, but only in dry weather. I've got these, which are my long as well but they all serve different purposes so I don't see why it's a problem to have another pair it's always good to have a spare pair right and then there's that friend who is outraged you would fork out a decent amount of cash on a running race yeah of course I'm gonna spend my money to run and no I don't regret it in fact I'm gonna book another one now what's our advice Think carefully before you say anything negative to a runner, especially on race day, as that could end badly. Are there any running comments that get on your nerves? Well, whack them down in our comments below, and we'll see you next time here on The Running Channel.